Hi, my name is Travis Souls, the mechanic for Jalik Swole over here at Triumph Factory Racing. Yeah, it seems like we've had a lot of wet races this year. Um, a lot of the things we do would just be like foam in the skid plate. Sometimes we gear up a little bit, just get a little more bottom end on it. Uh, we can run a skin cover on our filter. We can run a solid air filter cover box. Um, that's pretty much about it. I mean, just try and keep the mud out of places it can get into. And obviously it doesn't really matter. You can sacrifice a little bit of power to make the bike last. So it's just kind of survival. Uh, working for Jalik's been awesome. He's uh, he's a grinder. Kid uh, just does his work. It makes it easy for a mechanic to you know to give 110 percent when your rider gives 110 percent. Um, we've kind of had an up and down year. We've had some good results. Been on the ground a couple times, um, but yeah, we're looking for looking for a good night tomorrow night. Should be good. Yeah, we've uh, definitely been on outdoor track a little bit. He started on a stock bike. Actually, really enjoyed it. Um, the last couple weeks we got him on full outdoor kind of starter bike. Um, it's been going good. His speed's really good. Um, it actually helped him out on Supercross too. He rode a couple days outdoors and then went on the Supercross track and like his entry speed into the whoops was faster and just a little more confident. You know, he got his speeds up in the outdoors and it kind of transferred back into Supercross. That so was good. My name is Dylan Smith. I work for Triumph Racing and my rider is Joey Savacci. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, you know, I never really know, you know, obviously like I've known Joey and what he's done in the past, um, but it's been really cool. Like he's a super cool guy and I honestly just really enjoy working with him. And then I'd say it's a little bit different than almost any other team just because it's a new bike. Um, but yeah, we've been putting a lot of testing in to the bike. Um, Ivan uh, Tedesco, he's been our test guy, so he's been coming up more too. So he's been able to test a lot of stuff and then get, you know, just da narrow it down from, let's say like 10 options down to a couple. And then usually we've been going, uh, giving that to Joey. And yeah, it's, um, it's been really good. Every time he's come up, uh, we've made some good progress with the bike. And then, uh, yeah, he's really enjoying it right now. Really getting comfortable on the 250 again. I'm um, Brandon Zimmerman. I'm a mechanic for Chase Sexton on the Red Bull Factory KTM race team. Uh, it's been good. It's been a big learning curve for both of us and, uh, you know, a lot of testing and a lot of trying to figure out what works best for him uh, with this new bike. So it's been going good, though. Outdoor prep's going good. It's just kind of like initial to get started there and uh, probably a lot more to, to go with that also. But uh, we're in a good spot so far and looking forward to get the summer series going also. Off weekend was good. Um, got to ride a little bit outdoors, did some outdoor testing. And that went really well. So um, got three days of outdoors in, one day of Supercross last week, and then got back on Supercross again this week. Um, but overall, off weekend was good. Had uh, had a little, not vacation, but went to the beach with all my all my buddies and kind of just hung out. So um, was pretty relaxing, but back to work now. I believe it's raining outside again. So uh, could be a little bit interesting tomorrow. They took the tarp off really early, which – not sure why I did that, but um, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. And watching, well, we were watching the Masters, but now we're watching Rory hit the ball right now. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I raced here once before, 2022. The track, it was like soft in practice, and then it turned really, like, really rocky and hard. So, um, tomorrow we're not going to be see that at all. We're gonna, it's gonna be really soft. But overall, I'm. Happy to be here. The stadium's really cool. They kind of have like their own like little city around it, which is um, cool to see. And yeah, we're just cruising. No one's really here today, just hanging out. I don't know if you guys can see that little bump, but uh, hands pretty good. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't, it's weird. It got better and then it's kind of just stayed the same for a while. It's not like, as far as riding doesn't bother me, but honestly, everyday life stuff kind of bothers it more. So uh, it's getting better. Just bone bruises are really kind of a pain in the butt. They don't really heal that fast they take a long time to get back to 100 percent. so um on the bike we're good i can't golf which it's kind of a bummer from it but uh on the bike we're all good outdoor testing went well i would say i think uh i felt really comfortable outdoors i think i felt the best i have in a long time um maybe even since 2022 so that was uh, a positive and then we tried to take some of the stuff we learned from outdoors and put it on the supercross bike and made some progress um, just little step forwards every week I'm trying to, trying to make. So that's kind of, uh, where my head's at, but yeah, outdoors so far has been really good. Yeah. It was nice to have a, a weekend off on the weekend, shut off, make some fires at home, hang out the kid, watch him run around like crazy. Um, during the week, Supercross obviously still very important to us. We want to, you know, get those results, but, uh, yeah, I rode motocross about two, three days. Really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun just to switch it up. Um, really enjoy riding, have fun. I went to MTF, rode with all the amateur kids, some of the pro kids. Had a blast. It's like old school, just ripping it up, battling, 
having a good time, so I enjoyed that. And now we're here in Voxboro. Um, very rainy today. Press was canceled, unfortunately, but uh, we're ready to go racing, rain or shine. I heard I'm decent at the mud, so if the track's a little muddy, we'll go out there and twist it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, kind of hometown race up north. Um, a lot of a lot of fans up here, so that'll be really cool. But uh, yeah, you know, last year in Jersey, got that win in the mud, so. We'll see, the guys do a really good job with the track nowadays. They they roll it, get it tight, um, put the covers over it. So yeah, it's rainy here, but track might not be that bad. So like I said, rain or shine, I've been improving, making steps in the right direction. And uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow to go racing and dice it up and, and have some fun. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was gonna come, but they offered one, two or three. And at first I said two, and then I was like, eh, we should probably do three, because this is where I want to be. So if I have the option, take it. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. I mean, it's nice to know where I'm going to be for the next three years, and it's a good-ass team, and I just want to try to deliver for them. Yeah, so I took, a, I took a week off after Indy, and then I spent two days riding outdoors on the 450. And then I spent four days riding outdoors the next week uh, on the 250 to try to see which one I would want to ride. Um, there was nothing set in stone on like me riding for club on outdoors. I was just kind of like, hey, like let's treat it like we are going to go racing. But regardless, you're going to be prepared for whatever you do. And then uh, at the end of that week, they're like, hey, we were able to manage to get some things going. And do you want to do it? And I said, yeah. So. We're gonna do 250 outdoors for the season, and I'm stoked. I haven't, I've never actually raced a full season on 250, and the last time I did it was with my mom and dad in 2017. So, yeah, it's gonna be a learning curve, but I'm, I'm excited for it all. I mean, I feel as ready as I'm gonna be. Uh, we got a little bit of weather, which that tends to be the, the top, uh, the talk of the town for these all the open domes lately. Um, but no, I think Dirtworks is probably gonna work their magic, polish a turd, <laughs> as they always do, and we'll have a good track. My name is Derek Dwyer. I work for Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki for Cameron McAdoo. Yeah, with, with mud races, obviously we've had quite a few this year. Um, we strategically do a few things. Uh, we, we'll look at gearing, um, depending on how muddy it really is. If it's a constant rain coming down, mud puddles and everything, uh, we'll look at a lot of airbox stuff trying to get that as watertight as possible. Uh, may change the chain, uh, stiffen the suspension a little bit. It just, it all depends on the day and what it actually entails. Um, if the mud is super sticky, we're definitely running foam in places that you don't want it to get like under the shifter or brake pedal. So, um, you know, you might run hand guards and just odds and ends, try to keep the mud off of underneath the fenders and keep the weight down as much as possible. But there's a lot of ins and outs of what the mud uh, might entail. Uh, yeah, this year uh, coming in, we were a little bit maybe behind, but um, he's done a really good job at trying to, to change the outcome of his future. Uh, and meaning by that is he just really focused on the moment uh, things that maybe he lacked in the past he's really when we got back riding that's that's what we did is just focus on what he could change and be better for and um, you know get to the races and just want to do week to week like obviously the overall goal is to be standing in the number one spot but um, we're right now we're just attacking it week to week and um, every race so we just want to be in it till the end yeah actually uh, we did when he got back on a bike from his original injury, we did quite a bit of outdoor testing to get him up to speed. He's missed a few years of outdoors with injuries and um, just, you know, kind of been behind the eight ball. So we got in a really good spot. And then when we had the first mate big break, we definitely went and played around the outdoor track and, you know, made sure that our bike was in a good spot and changed a few things. and. Um, you know, jump back on Supercross, but we kind of bounce back and forth. And, you know, these guys ride five to six months of Supercross. So like to change it up a little bit is actually uh, not a bad thing. You know, it, it definitely helps with like corner speed, breaking points, uh, visual depth stuff. So like there's always a positive to do outdoors at the same time as Supercross. 
Hey, what's up guys? I'm Brent Duffy. I work for Hayden Deegan here at Star Racing Yamaha. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, as a 250 mechanic, you kind of look up to the 450 guys, like you want to be racing every weekend, but then we get these off weekends and you realize how much we enjoy being at home and uh, have that little extra time off. And we're able to be productive towards the motocross season. We had two weeks of outdoor training and two weeks of supercross training. So I'd say it's a good mix. It was good to switch it up and pick up the speed and start developing a setting for motocross. Yeah, I just wanted to mix things up a little bit and go to Sandbox. That was all Hayden's idea. So, you know, if he wants it, we're along for the ride. And uh, it actually was very, very beneficial. I'm not going to talk about what was good about it, but it's a good facility, uh, good people to ride with. And it's just nice to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, you know, with Hayden doing East Coast last year, uh, some of the places we've gone to, it's been like familiar for him because we've ridden uh, in the stadium that dirt before, but he's never been here. And heck, the series hasn't been here in years either. So it's really cool to be up here, but you know, it's another open stadium and it's raining as we speak right now, but I think it'll be good, but that's just being optimistic. Uh, but it's cool to come to the Northeast. Uh, I like it up here. So it, it's cool to mix it up, but man, give us some sunshine. Uh, I'm Alex Campbell. I work for Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha and uh, I work for Cooper Webb. Uh, we didn't ride any outdoors actually. We did just stay on Supercross and it went good. We worked on a few things and uh, did some technique stuff with Cooper and applying it to uh, his kind of sprint speed and uh, it actually went really well. Uh, it's fun. It keeps it exciting like having a, a horse in the race is always exciting and then being to the um, front of the uh, points is always good. And now we're down to the last five races. We're eight points out of the championship lead. So it's uh, definitely go time. But as far as like uh, keeping it going, it's um, I don't do anything different. Uh, this is what we're paid to do. And uh, the riders are paid to win. So we keep a bike uh, underneath them that can do that. And it's just uh, kind of staying level headed. Like you uh, don't want to have your highs too high and your lows too low. You just kind of keep working week in and week out at the practice track and then bringing that to Saturday and doing our best each week. No, we might do a little bit of grip tape stuff if it is muddy on the side of the bike, like add a little more. Um, but as of right now, we're just staying with our standard stuff. And uh, I don't know, I guess we're used to the mud. Uh, only a few outside races have been dry this year. So it's just becoming uh, a mud race every year or every weekend for Supercross.